for you and uh, this one is all about one of what has become one of my favorite pieces of software uh, that's out there on the market at the moment um, and has been out there for a little while actually this I found out about this through uh, the 30-day challenge which you might have heard of uh, if you haven't Google it it's a really good little program uh, It's run by a guy called Ed Dale who I believe is Australian um, and yeah just a really good little program and, dur and during the program he talks about the need for keyword research and finding good backlinks and uh, a number of other things that are kind crucial to the success of any website and they give you a product basically which um, I say give you they, they show you a product which you can then buy which is uh, fantastic and it's this it's called market samurai which you might have heard of before um, I just want to show you this front page this screen right here because this is what I get now that I've used it for a little while um, these right here are all of the uh, the different projects that I've got going on at the moment um, I've blanked them out because obviously the keywords are uh, important to me and some of them are in markets that are a bit sort of up and coming and that I've found which uh, I don't want too many other people knowing about right now. So, um, you know, I've, I've uh, blanked a lot of those out. But um, you will be able to open a new project right here. And that's actually the screen that you'll see in just a second when I open that. And that's the screen you'll see the first time you load up your version of Market Samurai. But I want to show you this because it's got the paid version just here. Uh, and also got registered to Matt at MatthewDuggan.co.uk down there, which is obviously me. It's so just to show you that I have actually genuinely gone out and bought this. It's not, uh, you know, some sort of free trial copy or whatever. Um, I've actually bought this and used it. Uh, and used it to quite a lot of success, actually which I'll talk about a bit later. Anyway, this is what it looks like when you first uh, open it up. This is the project settings area. Um, you can see actually here it says the challenge. This is the 30-day challenge. There is no charge for awesomeness and there isn't. Uh, it's a whole free thing, the 30-day challenge, uh, all about how to get yourself started online. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Anyway, uh, keyword. So up here is where you're going to choose your original keyword. Now I'm going to choose something um, let's see what can I go for. Okay, I'm going to choose something. First of all, I would suggest you choose something that's in the um, one of the three sort of evergreen markets so it's health uh, wealth creation and uh, lifestyle kind of dating that sort of thing and so I'm going to go with dating I think because that, that's going to be my keyword um, so yeah let's go for that let's go for dating now obviously dating is massive it's, it's just incredibly broad uh, and takes in an awful lot of different uh, different you know types of, of dating site, different disciplines, different backgrounds of people. Um, I've seen sites that are specific to Jewish dating, I've seen sites specific to Christian dating, you know, religious based dating. Um, I've seen dating for people who like uniforms, uh, that's genuinely true I have. So there's a thing called uniform dating uh, where people like to date people who are, you know, nurses or uh, pilots or people in the army for relatively obvious reasons I suspect. Anyway, so that's that. So let me just click create on this. Um, also on that last screen it gave me the option of showing or not showing adult content as well um, for the time being I don't want to show adult content because I just want to go into a, a market that's fairly accessible to kind of everyone really um, and that isn't going to offend people because sometimes people find you know especially if they've come from a Christian background adult content isn't going to be what they're looking for um, because perhaps they're offended by it for whatever reason so this is the um, the front page right here and you can see this is the keyword right here that I've got dating. Now dating, I say, is far too broad, uh, but I'm going to show you how you break things down. And this is where you start off. You can start here with some keyword research. Now, if you've already got a website, you can actually go here and go to rank tracker. In fact, let me show you that very, very briefly. I'm not going to go through every uh, different type of um, of, of function that, that Market Samurai does because it's just massive. Uh, it's very, very broad. So let me open up something here. Um, let's go for... Well, let's just type in dating and see what comes up. Okay, and then I'm going to go for I'm going to go for eharmony.co.uk. I'm going to pretend that's my site for the time being, if only it was. Uh, but let's go here to the rank tracker. Now, right here, I can add my domain or add URLs. Now that means I can add a domain, which is you know in this case uh, www.eharmony.co.uk I can also add URLs which means I can add separate pages within that site and find out how they're ranking okay so let's click add domains and I'm going to go for http www.eharmony.co.uk and click add domains right there so you can see now it comes up here as the primary domain I'm going to look in Google and Yahoo and in Bing as well um, I could do the phrase match results but that's going to take a lot longer to do I can also find the search depth now I know for a fact that eHarmony is high in the search rankings okay it's actually probably within the top 10 I imagine but let me do top 100 just to show you uh, exactly where it's ranking um, because you can also go as far as the top 1000 but it does mean that it's going to take a lot longer for it to search and what it does is it goes to the search engines and it finds exactly where the site is placed so let me run it right now um, 
and show you what I mean. Oh, there's one thing I forgot, one thing I forgot, which is add keywords. Um, I'm going to add some keywords here because I want to find out what it's ranking for. So let's say that I was running eharmony.co.uk and I wanted to uh, make sure I was ranking for the words, um, what could we go for? Uh, best dating site, okay? Click add keywords. Now, I don't know whether it is ranking for this or not. I, it's just a complete, you know, pulled it out of uh, out of the air, this one. But I'm going to click Update Rank Data, and it starts its work. Uh, you can see it's now doing all of the indexing. It's doing a Google index check, the number of backlinks that, that domain has. And it's not found anything brilliant. Um, it's got it's not there for best dating site. It doesn't feature in the top 1,000. So let's, let's go for this instead. Let's go for another keyword. Uh, Okay, so I've added in um, another keyword as well. Um, it didn't actually, couldn't find the information for dating. I'm sure it must rank for dating, but perhaps maybe it doesn't rank in the top uh, top 100 for this um, this search term. Uh, I could actually, as I say, run it to a top 1,000. That might be more instructive, but just for the purposes of this, uh, I'm going to do it in the top 100. And UK dating, uh, it's place number 23. Okay, now this is in Google.com. Okay, I could actually limit this to Google.co.uk if I wanted to and go up here to the project settings uh, and actually choose a country instead I could choose any one of those countries to search in uh, so I could go to google dot wherever it was so google dot um, dot de which is the Germany one dot fr which is the French one uh, dot com dot au which is the uh, the Australian one you know any of those so I can do that as well but just to show you here it's found out exactly where that site places now for you for your websites this is awesome because it means you can track exactly how many backlinks exactly what the PR uh, the page rank of the website is um, and exactly where it ranks in uh, in in general, you know where it ranks uh, on the search engines, whether it be Google, Yahoo, or Bing. And you can see up here, uh, these are the placements within those different search engines. And BL there stands for backlinks. You can see it's got uh, 34,000 backlinks right there, uh, and that the home page just here has 30,000 of those backlinks. So most of the backlinks go to that front page, as you would expect. And it's a PR6. I can also check out the information on this as well. So I can bring up a graph right here, which shows me the position and the backlinks and the page rank right here. Um, and obviously as I go through the days you know if I was to do this tomorrow and the day after and the day after I would start to get a graph here that would show you know different results and hopefully if the work of Market Samurai uh, happens if you keep doing it every day then you will start to see an increase in your site's uh, website tra uh, tracking and uh, backlinks and that sort of thing so that's that keyword research next I'm, I'm racing through this by the way purely for the fact that I know this got, I've got a limited amount of time and I don't want to take up too much of yours either so let's go for generate keywords. I've got dating obviously as my main seed keyword. Now what I've done is I've actually connected my Google keyword uh, account or my Google AdWords account I should say to Market Samurai which is a very simple thing to do which they show you how to do in their training and um, yeah this this tool is, is awesome because it just generates up to 800 keywords and then it goes through them and uh, tells you exactly what uh, the keywords are in terms of their, their usefulness, I suppose, for want of a better word, their profitability, potentially. Uh, you can see here it's fetching the Google Keyword Tool data and it's bringing all that down. Now, say it's doing it for 800 keywords, potentially. So, you know, this is this could be potentially uh, quite a long process. So, um, oh, here we go. So I may pause the video at this point and, uh, you know, uh, come back to you when it's loaded up. And here we are, here are the keyword results. And um, this is, you can see 800 here that are active right now. It's found 800 keywords. Uh, you can see right there, there's absolutely tons and tons and tons. Um, look at that, look, just just something that, that you know immediately struck me. Extramarital dating, look at that. Um, Filipino dating, uh, find online dating, executive dating, European dating, elite dating, you know, all those things. Um, potentially, you know, there's, there's, God, there's loads, look, just with the word free in. And what I can do is I can actually open these up as separate. Um, goth dating, wow, gothic dating, granny granny dating, <laughs> amazing. Right, so, uh, wow, there's some really specific ones right there. Uh, anyway, so um, you've got uh, any of these you can click here and it will, let's say for example, I want to go for geek dating, as I am a bit of a geek. Uh, let's go for that one. What it will do is it will open it up in a whole new thing and you can actually analyze that keyword uh, separately and you can have these all the way along this top bar right here so you can actually really compare and contrast all your keyword to, uh, all your keywords uh, and see what the competition's like for them. So what I can do now is down here I can click on keyword analysis 
and it will take me through to this screen. Now this is the absolute genius of Market Samurai. Okay, this is the, the main reason I bought it, and it's just brilliant. I've used it for so many different sites. Um, you can see right here, this is the SEO traffic um, of the site. As you can see there, it's the maximum potential daily clicks that a number one ranked site for this keyword term could pon could potentially achieve. Okay, um, so you can see right there, that's all the different. Um, all the different keywords that I've got right there. Now what I can do is I can apply what it says here which is the golden rules and it comes up with all these presets that are up here. Now I'm not going to run through all of these because they do this very well in what's called the dojo which is the Market Samurai dojo where they do the training for you to make sure you can use this uh, this tool properly um, and the training is, is just awesome, it's really really good. It's good actually general internet marketing training let alone for actually using this tool. But it does this, um, so SEO value, so it's, let, it's about $30 uh, a day uh, is how much that the value of that would be and the value it comes about because they take if I show you here uh, the daily value of the traffic that a website ranked number one in Google for a keyword could potentially achieve it's the SEO value which equals the SEO traffic times the AdWords cost per click that's what that stands for okay so AWCPC is AdWords cost per click um, so that's that's a, a quick kind of measurement they give you, which they don't give you on Google. Okay, so this is giving you extra information. Um, it shows you here that I've got I want a minimum of 80 visitors a day uh, as my SEO traffic, and the phrase to broad match um, ratio needs to be uh, 15. In this case, it's a percentage, so 15% uh, phrase match searches out of broad match searches for this keyword. Don't worry if that doesn't make sense to you right now. Um, they all explain this in the in the training. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click analyze keywords, uh, and uh, you'll start to see how the um, you'll start to see how the system works and how it actually starts grading the keywords. I should note here, I, I clicked on analyze keywords and it's already taken out 484 of those keywords because they don't match these statistics right here, like they might have a lower than 80 traffic value, they might have um, a, a phrase to broad match minimum of less than 15% or they might have an SEO value of uh, less than 30, okay? So it will already have stripped those out, so I'm going to keep the ones I've got left with, um, it's going to analyze those and tell me what they're worth. So I'm going to click that and um, yeah load this up and I'll see you very shortly. And there we go, we're done. Um, it's taken about two or three minutes to do that, but it's come back with the best information I could potentially want, which is, uh, you know, fantastic information about potential niches that I can go for. Now, the cool thing about the golden rules is that it sets a level which is good for a beginner, okay? So if you're new to all of this, if you're new to keyword research, this kind of does a lot of the hard work for you, and it really genuinely does. I know people say that all the time in internet marketing, which is usually rubbish. This, is, this actually genuinely does, because um, I sat down and did it, and like even now I'm still sitting here going well, that's brilliant I've already got look out of all the dating market it's found me the one major kind of keyword which isn't really major but it's it's one significant keyword which has uh, SEO traffic of 137 that's pretty good that's well over my minimum of 80 the phrase to broad match is 19% that's that's good enough uh, it's got search engine competition of 30,000 so dead on 30,000 um, which is that's fine not a problem because um, that's kind of at the top end of where I was searching for so that's fine it's still within reach of most beginners um, and when I say within reach it means that you could get a domain name that was for example big hyphen women hyphen dating dot com and set up a site there and then start building backlinks to that site, which again I'll show you how to do using Market Samurai in a sec. It's also showed me that the market value, uh, or the SEO value rather, is £132.60, uh, 60 pence. I was going to say cents then, 60 pence, and it's done it in my money, in English money as well, um, so that I can kind of see it, you know, in my own uh, my own perspective rather than doing it in dollars and then trying to having to work out what the conversion was because obviously I'm in the UK, as you can probably tell from my charming accent. So the you know, this guy gives you some ideas right here of words with date in them. Also, look, save the date cards for weddings. Who'd have thought it? But I reckon, I reckon that must be available as a domain name. Okay, save the date cards for weddings. dot com. Um, Black women dating white men. dot com. Again, there's another dating one right there. So that one and that one, uh, kind of one and three there. I can actually open these up as separate uh, searches if I click on that key. And again, it's going to take me up to here where I can do the same research again and keep digging down you know keep drilling down into these keywords until I find uh, exactly what I want you know exactly the keyword that's going to work so you can see now it's highlighted these in green because I've got them open in other tabs okay so that's that um, it then I mean I say I'm blasting through this but hopefully you can see how incredible that is because that's done a lot of work um, in a relatively short space of time that would have taken me a lot longer to work out especially the SEO value stuff you know uh, it's going to take me a hell of a long time to do that so if I come up here now 
and I click on generate results within the SEO competition tab just here you can see that it's going to go to uh, the search engines now and it's going to tell me exactly where those sites uh, are, are ranking, what the best sites are, the sort of the top, I say the best sites, the top 10 sites within dating. It's going to go and find all the information about them and bring it back to me and show me what I'm up against.